Hello guys welcome back to a new video, you may have seen many Christians and Hindus who mock the Muslims and claim that Quran is unscientific and they quote the verse of Quran which says the sun sets in muddy pool, so today I will explain and defend that verse of Quran and show you the same thing in other religious scriptures, so let's begin the video, they quote this verse, in Quran chapter 18 verse 86, until he reached the setting point of the sun, which appeared to him to be setting in a spring of murky water, where he found some people. We said, O Zulkarnain. Either punish them or treat them kindly. The first line says that he reached the setting place of the sun, but it means he saw the sun set, even anything or any place can be the setting place of the sun. Example, the place between the two mountain can be the setting place of sun, a sea can be the setting place of the sun, because it's just a scene which we see. We should read the verse once again, until he reached the setting point of the sun, which appeared to him to be setting in a spring of murky water, where he found some people. We said, O Zulkarnain. Either punish them or treat them kindly. Note, it clearly says that the sun appeared to Zulkarnain as setting in murky pool. It's crystal clear that it says that the sun appeared to him, so it's just describing a scene. But if some Hindus and Christian is not satisfied with my answer then I have something more to give. Even their scriptures says that the sun comes out from sea and sun goes down, so here it is. So I am gonna start with the Hindu scripture, Rig Veda 7.55.7, Atarva Veda 4.5.1 The bull, sun, who hath a thousand horns, who rises up from out the sea, Atarva Veda 7.1.1 Forward and backward by their wondrous power move these two youths, sun and moon, disporting, round the ocean. These verses are supported by the Brahmana which states, Seva issue up, Pravisha Varuna Bhavita Kazataki Brahmana 18.9, Him who yonder gives heat they seek by these pressings to obtain, the rising by the morning pressing, the sun, in the middle, of his course, by the midday pressing, the sun, as he sets by the third pressing. He, having entered the waters, becomes Varuna. And now the Bible. Book of Psalms chapter 121 verse 6, The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Have we ever seen sun smiting someone? No. Book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. I want to ask those Christian, have we ever seen someone wearing a sun? No. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 30, Are they not on the other side Jordan, by the way where the sun goeth down, in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the Champagne over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Mori? I will again ask those Christians, do we believe, sun ever goes down literally? No. Now I explained that the Quran chapter 18 verse 86 just describes the scene that the sun appeared to Zulkarnain setting in murky water and it is just a scenario but the Hindu scripture are on another level. It says that the sun comes out of the sea but if you read the Bible, it is mind blowing. It says that someone wears the sun, literally someone wears the sun. I wanna say, what, logic, is this? So thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel for more informative videos which will help you defend Islam.